Hi there. So I'm going to teach you today how to make this men's shed card. Oh, excuse the um, oh, chair just moving away. Okay. So I wanted to show you first off how it actually fits into a normal C6 size envelope. So here's my envelope. It's in there. And when you take it out, it's a case of pulling that bit out, standing that bit up, this bit flips up, and just on the back here, there's a little clip, and in theory, that clips onto there, and it stops the card from collapsing in any way, or sometimes this back bit just flaps forwards. So that is the card that we're gonna be creating. So, in your kits, you will have and these bits. So, you'll have four little pieces like this. Hopefully, they are not off the frame of the picture. I can't actually see. So, four bits of those. You're going to have two pieces like this. Um, it will not be coloured up. I'm going to show you how to do that. So, you'll have two of those. You're going to have three pieces of wood grain finish. Again, it's not going to be coloured up for you. I'm not that generous. That's all part of the experience. And um, I'm going to show you how to colour this bit up, but you'll have three pieces of that. And you will have one of those. It won't have this stuck to the back of it at the time that you get it. You'll be doing that. Uh, that's for your saying. You'll also have two little pieces like this. Please don't throw those out. They are really useful to you. You will have a piece like this, which is your insert and your card itself, and also one of these, which I didn't get out, which might be a good idea. One of those. Why is with the other ones? Right, so let's start off by colouring in. So I'm just going to turn this over because I have used the other side of this to do the colouring in bit already. And I'm getting through quite a bit of sheets of paper by the fact that I keep forgetting to do that. All right, so what I've used on this one is I've used Cajun Craze. See, Cajun Craze, it's probably upside down for you, that's fine. So just rub this all over. Oh, and I'm really sorry, you just probably moved just then. Oh, did the earth move for you? Uh, just go down that stripe in the middle, the fold in the middle, not stripe. And the other colour I'm using is soft suede. So just soft suede on that. I kind of think the ready colour makes it look brick-like. So whoops, that's why I'm going with the ready colour and then I'm just toning it down with the soft suede. And there we go. So you should end up with two that... Um, don't look too dissimilar. There we go. Then this piece here, again, you're going to use the soft suede. So it's, gonna... it's amazing how you look at it and it's it's all sort of white and you can't really see the pattern. And then as soon as you add colour, it just pops out. Kind of cool. I like this wood grain one. It's um can't remember what it's called but it's in the catalogue and it's it looks like wood grain wood planks or something like that I think it's called oh and I've just gone and dipped that into the wrong colour okay let's move that one out of the way and move this one in then at least I'll be doing it in the right colour obviously you can do your wood any colour you want to I mean if you want your wood blue then I suppose you could do it blue it doesn't seem very likely but you never know I mean, everyone has different tastes. Just gonna pop those all away. And there we go. Right, so we've got those all sorted. Next, we bring in this and we're going to attach these bits to the outside of it. So just make sure that they are going to fit before you attach them. And in fact, I think I'm gonna hide that piece there. So I'm probably gonna go that way around with it. Just go with a bit of Tombow adhesive on the back. Oh, come here. 
and you can just fit it into the um, into the card like that so that it just sits straight in and it makes it a nice and easy to go in there and the other side and again just fit it in there bit of glue on me like there like that and then those two bits should fold in like that and they should sort of fold out as well doesn't matter too much if they're a bit crinkly on the way out as it were so you know it's a little it's a little difficult to have something on top of something else that folds perfectly if that makes any sense at all excellent all right so we've got that part sorted we are going to move on to this part so this is your insert part. We're gonna add um, this larger piece of wood to the top. Um, so this is the bit that's gonna sort of sit like the top of the drawers, as it were. There is a teeny tiny gap all the way around. I'm just gonna fold it like that. So hopefully you can sort of see what I'm doing with it. Uh, can you see that there's a little gap that goes all the way around it hopefully that makes sense then you've got the draw fronts and we have one draw front and the other side here we go sound effects too who would have thought the other draw front uh -oh. the advantage with the um, the Tombow adhesive is that you can move it slightly until it sets which is it doesn't take a long time to set but at least it gives you a little teeny bit tiny bit of maneuverability so the other thing when I did my original one I actually put the handles up on dimensionals and it was so fiddly to do that um, I didn't think I could possibly put you through that pain so just add a little dob of adhesive where you want them um, actually I was using that made it a lot easier to put them on Mm. Oh, obviously try and um, put them in the middle of the drawer and um, so that they are underneath each other. Oh, got to say pin tools invaluable. If that's level. How difficult it is to see when you're not able to look over top of it because obviously if I looked over top of it all you'd see is my head which <laughs> as nice as my head is I'm pretty sure you don't want to see the back of it <laughs> okay so we've got that piece there now hidden in this one I have two more pieces oh I forgot to tell you about those pieces that would be handy wouldn't it okay there's two extra pieces there as well so you actually have the backing for this now oh good point with the backing part one you need to make sure that it will fold down on itself and the other thing is don't put any glue past this point here so let's see if we glue from about there downwards i reckon we'll be pretty safe hopefully you can see this um, yeah, whoops Ooh, that worked well didn't it not all right we're just going to go for it there we go So this should be able to slide onto there. As I say, just make sure that it will fold as you do it. So maybe even fold it into it like that. Sorry, really wobbly there. And then that will give you your little sort of backdrop thing. All right, now 
re-enter base card and we're going to stick this on so we are going to go with it's these bits here that want the glue on them okay so glue 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 like that okay and then make sure that this is aligned with the base of the card itself and then flap that down onto there and we're going to have to hold it there for a moment or two so it's just I would go with elevated music but um, la, 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 and moving it over carefully because I know that's not 100% stuck so when you move it over like that you should then have this in the right position to flap that one down and, and attach it so we're gonna go with glue 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 and flap that one down again it should come out so that it's level with so the bottom of this is the level with the bottom of that if that makes sense to you hopefully it does uh, if not, you do have your paper instructions, or you can phone a friend, me. <laughs> I'll be your friend. So then we have that much of it. And if you're finding that it's not quite gluing, just hold it there for a minute or two longer. Just you can pop your hands inside now just to hold it in place. Okay. However, we're not doing too badly there. So. The other things to do is to add this onto the front, however you feel that is going to be appropriate for you. Um, now, this piece here, the reason that you have these two pieces is because you're going to take one and you're going to fold it in half, like that, and you're going to attach that once you stamp on this first. Make sure, very important, stamp on that first, okay? Um, then attach that onto the back, making sure that this is level with the base so that it will sit onto here. When you sit it onto there, obviously you're gonna put glue onto there to sit it down, make sure that it will flat, go completely flat on your card. Because if you don't, then it's gonna end up um, folded into this. But I guess, I suppose it could flat forwards. I never thought of that. So potentially you could do it further back if you wanted to. So it's up to you. Yeah, well, good. Glad I suddenly had that brain Brainy idea. <coughs> Sorry, gonna sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay, and right, so the last thing to do is to attach that clip that I was talking about on the back. So, over on the back part of it, remember this other little important piece of paper that I mentioned earlier? That is going to be used with this. So, let's just. I've used a bit of tear and tape adhesive, so just uh, that way, that way, that way. So pop a bit of your tear and tape adhesive onto the back of that and eek, come on off there. Oh, have a play around with this first to make sure that you can actually get it to open with no problems, okay? And then sort of stick that down onto there. Oopsie. Uh, this is working well. There we go. So you don't really want to see it over the top, so uh, get down there. Oh, come on, you're just supposed to hold it in place. Right, maybe a little bit lower. Right, round two. There we go, now it holds it in place. Okay, so what this one is going to do is it's gonna sit in there. You see the little back prong there? You actually want it to sit on there and hold that back prong in place. So add a little bit of the adhesive. So, oops, a little bit of our Tombow and pop that down like that and just make sure that it does seal up underneath there so just sort of hold it in place as it um, sets and then that will be sufficient to keep that in place 
so that your card will look like that with your saying on it and this little bit too wherever you decide to have that and voila you are all done well done